Hello everyone. In this video, I am going to show you how can you create your basic chatbot using your own data. And this time we are using Azure Open AI. So this complete solution, you can do it by just few clicks here and there without writing even a single line of code. So let's get started. I am on my Azure portal and I have already created few instances. So one I have created for Azure Open AI, then the one I am having is channel store which is Azure storage account and in this storage account I have created a container which is holding two text files and then I have created an instance of search service so once these three are created uh, we are good to go with this one which is Azure AI studio and if you're not sure how I have created these instances in Azure portal I would recommend you to watch my previous video in the same playlist Okay, so now we are going to create a chatbot. We are going to deploy a web app at the end and we'll see how our chatbot is working. So let's get started by creating the deployment model first. So I'm going to create a new deployment model and this time we'll take GPT 3.5 Turbo. Let's name the deployment as the same. It's going to take a few seconds and here you can see the model is deployed. Now we can go to chat. So let me remove these old data sources so it will not create any confusion. Okay, so when you, once you have created the deployment, you will see that inside chat, this is the view which will come up. Here you have system messages and this is the one which I'm going to cover this time. Here we can add our own data and this feature is still in preview. So let's quickly go ahead and add some data source. Okay, so under data source, you can see there are three different things. Either you can upload it from your hard drive, you can use blob storage, or even you can take it directly from the cognitive search. So in this demo, like I said, I have already created an instance of storage. So I'm going to choose this one. Here I can choose the storage resource. Then I can choose my container which is data store here I have already created an instance of cognitive search so I'm going with the same one and then I'm going to create a new instance inside this so let's name it as demo instance and it would be the name of my index basically and click on next so these are the entries which you can review and then save and close it's going to take a few minutes here so let's wait for it in the meanwhile you can just have a look at uh, the various panels which are shown over here the first one is the chat session this is the place where we are going to test our chat bot and on the right hand side we have configuration so you can set various parameters so this is the deployment which we have selected and that's why it is appearing here then we have some settings related to sessions so here you can like drag this and set any value whatever you want so what this value says is these are the messages past messages which will be utilized for maintaining the context of the chat so in my case i have given seven even you can make it 10 12 whatever you want i think the minimum is one okay so let's keep it 10 as of now, 11, let's say. Okay, and here it is going to tell you what is your progress or how many input tokens you have utilized. Similarly, we have parameters here. So you can set these parameters based on your need, whatever you want. These are almost same like what we have set in OpenAI. Let me reduce this. So I'm going to keep it to, let's say, let me type it rather. I'm going to keep it to 20 okay our data source is ready you can see that now it is appearing over here what we can do is we can quickly go and test it out so like my data is about homelessness and I have loaded two different files and both are the text files so let's ask few questions here what is homelessness and it should come up with some response here okay so homelessness is described as not having a permanent place or home to reside in so this is the detail 
this is the data which is coming from my text files and here you can see that it is also giving you the pointer for the text files or the sources from where it has pulled the data and we can click on this one and you can see the citation is coming over here so this is actually the content from the text file let me open up this one here and it is the second text file so this is how we can have a look at the text files and let me ask you one more question here just to check whether it is maintaining the history or the context or, uh, just to check that so what was my first question and it should come up with some response okay so your first question was what is homelessness which is absolutely correct and definitely we can provide our feedback here using thumbs up or thumbs down thumb down okay and now I'm going to ask what is the weather out here let's see what it's going to say oops I made spelling mistake and it is saying perfectly that I don't find any information related to a question from the retrieved documents as a result I'm not able to provide the response so this is what we are expecting and it is perfectly all right here we have a button to clear the chat and then here show raw json so you can toggle it and you will see that your response is coming in the form of json rather than like a chatting format and here you have view code so you can definitely click on it and you can see that these are the various settings or the parameters we are passing so it means if you want to create your application based on these settings definitely you can grab it from here and do it and here it is supporting these four things so you can choose any based on your requirement so let's quickly close this as of now and the next thing which is very important is uh, this top bar so here you have import setup you have export setup so when you will export it let's click on export and it you need to provide some file name and it is going to export these three values here so let's see and here you can see that and this is the file which got exported and here we have system prompt we we don't have anything for uh, short few shots so it's empty then we have these parameters like whatever we have set in the ui so this is how you can export it and if you want in future you can also import it using this particular button okay then let's click on this deploy too because right now whatever we are doing it's just like kind of testing which we are doing now let's say you want to actually use it as a web application so how you can do that so here we have two options either you can create new web app or you can also utilize the existing web app which you have already created so for this demo purpose I am going ahead with a new web application so let's uh, name it something test app uh, let's name it something unique okay and here i need to select the subscription and all so after doing that we need to click on deploy so let me quickly pause this video and do it in fact i can do it without pausing let's go ahead and do it so this is the name of my subscription this is the name of my resource group location would be i would rather go with west us let's see here you go okay and the pricing plan we can go with the free one acknowledge and deploy so it already exists let me append some number let's say one two three and I hope this time it is unique okay so now it has started the deployment uh, perhaps it's going to take two to three minutes so I will pause my video here until it get back with the deployment so okay let's give it few minutes here it is still going on as you can see it is still deploying test chat app so deployment is done let's click on launch web app and it's going to launch our application so here you can see in the URL the URL is chat 
test chat app one two three dot azure websites dot net which means it is deployed on azure and at the same time you can also validate it here so you should have few more things so you can see that uh, the top and the last two entry which is like app service plan and app services visible over here so i have created in the same resource group that's why we are able to see all those uh, all the five things here in your case it would differ based on where you are deploying so let's give it a few seconds and it will load our web application here So it is asking me for my con uh, consent so I'm going to click on accept <clears throat> and you can see that the beautiful UI is over here so it is saying start chatting this is the default UI so we have not changed anything let's ask the same question again what is home lessons and you got the same response what we have received inside whenever we were testing and here you can see two references these are the two files from where this response was picked you can click on these and definitely get the detailed information about these files so let me ask one more question what are the reasons behind homelessness hit enter and you should see something appearing there are several reasons and here you can see that you got the references exactly from those two files only so this is how you can create a basic chatbot where we are not doing anything fancy we are leaving all these like icons and everything in place and we are not uh, allowing user to upload more documents from the ui that's why this is low code solution i would say and i hope you enjoyed creating this chatbot if you really find it useful make sure to give me thumbs up and subscribe to my channel if you are watching it for the first time thanks for watching